Hello friends, do you know from the list of different types of jig, which type of jig is optimum to drill the number of holes on all the sides of component? Hey friends, I am Dhonil Pandit, welcome you all on your YouTube channel and here we are going to discuss and understand about one of the very important type of jig. Yes, today we are going to discuss about box jig. So let's start with the learning outcomes. The first learning outcome on which we are going to focus is construction of box jig. We will also look upon towards the working of box jig and we will try to understand the application of box jig. As well as we are going to understand the overall concept of box jig with the help of the model. So friends let's start with the construction of box jig. As you can see on your screen, box jig is considered as a closed type of jig. Yes friend, from the category of open type of jig and closed type of jig, box jig is considered as a closed type of jig. And there are six basic elements. With the help of these elements, we can assemble and design a box jig. So let's understand each of the elements. The list of elements on your screen is jig plate, jig bush, base, vertical sides, locators and clamping screw. So these all are the elements. Once we assemble these all elements, we can design a box jig. Friends, we will look upon the each of the elements while we will discuss it from the help of the model. So, Let's move further and try to understand the working of box jig. As you can see on your screen friends, it states that this type of jig will hold or you can say clamp the box piece from all the sides, from all the surface. So with the help of the box jig, we can hold or we can clamp the work piece from all the sides. As you can see the next one, one side is we are keeping intentionally open. So one side of box jig is open for the loading or unloading purpose of the component. So if we need to load or unload the work piece, we keep the one side open intentionally. As you can see one more point, machining of all the surfaces. If we are required to drill the holes on all the surfaces or maybe different side of surfaces, not only on the top surface, but maybe on the vertical sides even, or maybe on the other sides of the component, it is possible with the help of the box Z. Make sure it is possible with the help of the box Z without changing the position of the component. So in case if we need to do machining on the different sides of the workpiece, there is no need to change the position of component. So that is one of the advantage of box jig and that is the main purpose we are designing the box jig. As you can see one more point, locators are normally we are utilized as we can see in the, in the list of elements in the construction of box jigs. Locators are used to restrict the moments of component or you can say box piece. So locators, we are, going to, we are going to use locators to restrict the moments of component as well as the moment which we kept intentionally open the moment which moment related to loading unloading moment that moments and the vibrations can be minimized and eliminated with the help of the clamping screw so here we are using locators as well as clamping screw so as you can see locators can restrict the movements of the component and to remaining moment of loading and unloading and to, to restrict that such kind of moments we can use clamping screw in such kind of box jig. And the last point in the case of working, work piece can be drilled with the help of the jig bush. Yes, we are normally use a component jig bush in the box jig and work piece can be drilled with the help of the jig bush. So here we can say that as we know in the case of jig, Jig bush will guide the cutting tool to drill in the particular location. So here, jig bush will help us out to drill in the workpiece. Now let's move further and understand about the application of box jig. So let's discuss about the application of box jig. As you can see, friends, on your screen, box jig can be utilized for a drilling, reaming, tapping, etc. There are a number of operations in which we can use box jig. 
with the help of the box G, machining on the all the surfaces become possible. So we can do machining on the all the surfaces with the help of the box G. So that is one of the biggest application and one of the main advantage in the case of box G. The one more point, number of holes can be drilled on the different surfaces if we need to drill number of holes on the different surfaces, not only on the top surface, but might be some other surface of the component. The box jig is one of the very applicable and very useful in that case. And the last point, such kind of jigs are generally used of component having an irregular shape, if the shape of the component is irregular or it is not possible or cannot be held on a common clamping or a methods or a holding device. So if the shape of the component is irregular, if we are not able to clamp or hold the component in the common methods of drilling or other machining process, in such case box jig is one of the best tool to utilize. So friends, now we will move further and we will understand the box jig in detail with the help of the model. Now friends, as you can see right now on your screen, we have the model of box G. As you can see, this is the shape in the shape of box. And one by one, we will first try to very quickly understand and look upon the elements and then we'll move the further. As you can see, the component, the upper portion, this plate is known as G plate. The upper plate is known as G plate. Now, we have inserted jig bushes. As you can see on your screen, we have inserted jig bushes in the top plate or you can say in the jig plate. Right? So this is jig plate. You can see we have provided jig bush on the top side. As well as, let me show you one more bush. As well as, we have provided one bush here. So in that case, if we need to drill on the different size of the component, if we need to drill a hole on the different sides of the component, we can drill from even this type of bushes or from even top side. So from the top side as well as from the vertical side, we can drill in the component and there is no need to change the position of the component. So here you can understand without changing the position, we can drill easily in the component. If we move further and discuss about in detail, so this is jig plate, jig bushes are there. If I open this box, you can see, so this is the top plate or jig plate. Now this is the base, you can, you can see in which we have inserted locators that consider as a, this, is, this portion is considered as base. These are the vertical sides, so four vertical sides as you can see. So as we have mentioned, the one side will, we are keeping intentionally open. So you can see the open side, we have open it for the loading and unloading purpose. So from here we can load or unload the work piece in between these locators or on the, these locators, right? So these are the locators, as you can see we have placed eight locators. So theoretically the concept of fit to work might differ, but as you can see, the locators will work here as a support pin, as well as in this particular design, it will work also as a full proofing pin. So in the case of semi-skilled or unskilled labor can easily use such kind of G and can do the machining on the component. So locators will restrict the movements of workpiece as well as we have provided the clamping screws. As you can see, it's, it's here available and it is visible in the inner side of the box even. So you can see these are the clamping screws. We have provided the clamping screws to resist and restrict the movements in the reference of cutting force as well as in the case of vibrations. So the moment which we have intentionally kept open, the loading and unloading side of movement, so in the particular y-axis, so upward movement or you can say downward movement. So in that case, that movement can be restricted with the help of the clamping screw. Right. So very quickly, if you understand, this is G plate, G bush, locators, clamping screw, vertical side and base. So these are all the elements. Even we have provided three G push on the top plate as well as one G push on the side vertical side. So this is one more bush which we have provided. Even we can provide the bush on other vertical sides if it is required. So now once we open it, we can load the workpiece, we can close 
and through the, this kind of jig bushes we can easily insert a cutting tool drill bit into it now this jig bush will guide the cutting tool and it will drill or provide a hole at specific location in the component right friends so this is one of the biggest advantage and one of the key aspect about boxing so let's move further and summarize today's concept and topic of the box zip. As you can see friend, box zip is one of the closed type of zip as we have discussed through the model. I hope you can understand that this is an open type structure and a closed type structure. So in the case of box zip, box zip is closed type of zip. And to do machining on the different sides as well as on the top surface as well as on the different sides of the component we can easily utilize boxy for the optimum production so to increase the quality increase the quantity we can utilize boxy in the industries so friends i hope the concept of boxy is clear and, uh, and we are going to discuss one more type of jig in upcoming next video till then friends keep learning and have a great day